Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problem number 2 under the category Bode plot. So the problem is sketch the Bode plot for the following transfer function and determine the phase margin and gain margin. And this is the given problem. Here in the given problem when you look at the denominator you see here we are having a quadratic equation. So in the first problem we had a simple one but here we are having a quadratic equation. Then how to find the corner frequency for this quadratic equation we will see now. So the first step is here I am comparing the denominator this expression this quadratic equation with the standard format. Right so here this is the formula which we had already seen in our second unit second chapter. So here you see s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. So when you compare these two equations omega n square here is equal to 100 right and here again 2 zeta omega n will be equal to 16 that is coefficient of s when you equate you will be having 2 zeta omega n and here which will be equal to 16. So when you equate here you see omega n square is equal to 100 and therefore the omega n value is 10. Okay, Here when you write the unit it is 10 radians per second. So 2 zeta omega n is equal to 16 here. So when you solve finally you are having the answer as so here when you substitute the value of omega n the value of zeta is 0.8 right. So this is the corner frequency for the given quadratic expression right. So again here I am writing the problem once again the next step is in the denominator I am taking this 100 outside when you take this 100 outside what happens. Here s square divided by 100 and here plus 16 s divided by 100 right. So 75 divided by 100 is nothing but 0.75 and this 1 plus 0.2 s as such divided by this s and when you solve this expression you see 1 1 plus 1 divided by 100 is nothing but 0 0.01 here s square so again s square plus 16 by 100 is 0.16 and here I am having S. Yes, so here I am writing the S. So this is the simplified format of the given expression. So the next step is we have to substitute S equal to J omega. So when you substitute S equal to J omega our equation you see our equation gets modified like this. Right in the place of S yes, I am just substituting J omega that's it. So here when you solve you see j square is nothing but minus 1 right so minus into plus will give you again minus so this expression gets modified as 1 minus 0 0.01 this omega square here omega square plus j.16 omega right then the next step is we are going for the magnitude plot so for magnitude plot we have to find the corner frequencies right. So you see how to find corner frequency we have to take the reciprocal of the coefficient of s. So in the given problem this is the given problem right. So when you take the reciprocal of the coefficient of s here coefficient of s is 0 0.2 so 1 divided by 0 0.2 right. So 1 divided by 0 0.2 gives a value of 5 radian per second and again for the quadratic equation in the denominator we had find out the frequency already. So the value of omega c2 is nothing but it is 10 radians per second right and the next step is forming a table and our table has 4 columns. So term corner frequency slope and change in slope right. So while writing that term we had seen in the previous problem we have to write include constant and individual s terms right. So here when you look at the problem what is the constant here we are having 75 and where is the individual s individual s lies in the denominator. So 75 by s we are replacing s by j omega so here there will be having 75 by j omega. We had simplified our expression as like this. 
right so here when you look this expression the constant values are 0.75 divided by j omega right so here just substitute the values so when you substitute here you will be having 0.75 by j omega so this should be return always first in the table right and the next term is depending upon the values of corner frequencies the corner frequency should be arranged in ascending order you see the corner frequency that is 5 is written first and then we had written 10 right so which term constitutes 5 this 1 plus j point to omega constitute this 5 radians per second again this quadratic equation gives you the corner frequency of 10 radian per second right that is the reason why we have arranged terms like this we, sh we should write terms only in the ascending order of the corner frequencies okay this is an important step to be noted then the next thing is we have to find the slope right so to calculate the slope you see we are having omega in the denominator part right so an omega constitutes a magnitude that is a slope of 20 decibels right but here our omega lies in denominator so this contributes minus 20 decibel per decade right and here when you look at this expression here omega is in the numerator part and we are having only omega so this omega again constitutes plus 20 decibel per decade right and the next thing when you look at this expression here we are having omega square right the maximum power is omega square so this omega square lies in denominator so how much slope will this contribute so 20 plus 20 it will contribute 40 decibel per decade right since this lies in the denominator here i am including minus 40 right so then the next step is we are going to find change in slope so the first step is here you have to write this minus 20 as such here and we have to move this slope to the right hand side. So you see minus 20 and this plus 20 gives you 0. Right. This is your first step here. Then the next thing is you have to move this result downwards and again you have to shift this slope to the right hand side. So 0 minus 40 will give you an answer of minus 40. Right. Hope you people are clear with this and this is an important step. Right. Then the next step is here again we are going to choose two frequencies that is the one frequency should be less than your first corner frequency and the other frequency should be greater than your second corner frequency. Right. So here our frequency values are 5 and 10 right. So here we are taking the omega L as 0.5 radian per second. Again, I am telling no need. We should always take 0.5. Even you can take 1 or 2. Okay, everything is okay. The value should be less than 5. That's it. Then the next thing is omega H. Here the maximum value is 10, right? But here we have taken 20. Even you can take 50. Even you can take 100, 200, whatever may be. Right. Just I need to go with the book. So I had taken the same values right so how to calculate the magnitude the magnitude formula is given by g of j omega in db right so the next step is we are finding the corner frequencies that is sorry we are calculating the a for different values of corner frequencies right so first step you are taking omega equal to omega l so this is our least corner frequency so then the formula will be a equal to 20 log 0.75 divided by j omega that is while writing this expression for magnitude we have to include constants and individual s terms right so here the constant is 0.75 and the individual s term lies in the denominator so here i had written as 0.75 divided by j omega right here the value of omega is 0.5. So just substitute the values. Once you solve, we are getting the answer as 3.5 dB. Right? Then the next step is again for your first corner frequency. Again we are having the same formula. Because even in the first corner frequency, there is no change of slope. Wait, let me show you in the table. You see, during this 
first corner frequency is there any change of slope here there is no change of slope right so we have to go with the same formula so again a is equal to 20 log 0.75 by j omega here the value of omega is 5 so once you solve you are getting the answer as minus 16.5 db right then the next step is we are moving to second corner frequency at omega equal to omega c2 so when you look at the table you see when omega equal to omega c2 there is a change of slope right here there is a change of slope so here we are using the formula change of slope from omega c1 to omega c2 into log of omega c2 by omega c1 plus the value of a when omega equal to omega c1 okay this is the standard formula so change of slope from omega c1 to omega c2 what is the change of slope you see from omega c1 to omega c2 the change of slope is zero right so we have to write zero there so, 0 into log of our omega c2 value is 10 and omega c1 is 5 plus value of a when omega equal to omega c1. What is the value? You see at omega equal to omega c1 the value of a is minus 16.5. So, just here we are substituting that minus 16.5. So, 0 into anything is 0. So, 0 minus 16.5 again gives you minus 16.5 dB. Right. Then the next thing is at omega equal to omega H. Again the formula is change of slope from omega C2, C2 to omega H into log of omega H by omega C2 plus value of A when omega equal to omega C2. Here just I will tell you one thing. Here we are writing right at omega equal to omega h. This term should always occupy the numerator part here. You see log of omega h by omega c2. Here we are writing omega c2 right. This value should occupy this place. That is value of a when omega equal to omega c2. Okay. You always keep this in your mind. So change of slope from omega c2 to omega h. Let us see in the table again. This is our table and omega h will lie here, right? Because the value of omega h here we are taken as 20. So, in the table we have to arrange in the ascending order, right? So, here I am writing 20. So, change of slope from omega c2 to omega h. So, from omega c2, c2 to omega h, we will contribute this slope, right? This minus 40 will come over here. So, what is the value of change of slope? It is minus 40. So, just substitute the value here, minus 40 into log of, again omega h is 20 divided by omega c2 is 10. So, plus the previous value is, here the previous value, when omega equal to omega c2 is minus 16.5. So, just substitute the values and again when you solve, you are getting the answer as minus 28.5 dB, right. Now we are simply forming a table which includes corner frequency and the magnitude. Right. Hope you people understand the problem. I will stop the video here. We will go for the plot in our next video. If you have any doubt, feel free to ask me in the comment section. Thank you.